Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Good afternoon. Welcome to Global Report. I'm your host, Billy Ong. We have with us today Henry Bitt. He's an expert on our child here in Singapore. Welcome to the show, Henry. Thank you very much. Thanks for being on the show, Henry. Now, Henry, the reason I invite you on the show is because I want to learn more about the life of an expat child in Singapore. How old are you now? I'm actually 17 years old. Uh, I'm turning 18 this year, which is oh. pretty good. And how old were you when you came to Singapore? I was a baby. I was two months old. Uh, so I, I practically lived in Singapore my whole life. If I don't count it two months, I lived in France. So yeah, I've, I've been here my whole life. But you still have a very strong French accent. How did you maintain that? I maintained it because I did most of my studies uh, in Singapore at the French school. I So I studied in French from preschool to grade 10. Preschool uh, starting at age 3 or? Age 3, Age yeah. 3, uh-huh. Uh, in French. So, so I was, was possibly done in exposed to, to the French language and even at home because my parents are French, which means that I still speak French at home. So at a French school, everything was instructed in French? Everything was instructed in French, wow. except for the, yeah. Do you do separate. English classes at all? We did English classes uh, five hours a week. Five hours a week. Is it daily? Okay. It is daily, yeah. Well, that's amazing. If you did it just one hour a day and you speak French at home, that you're able to... Um... Well, that's probably, that's probably not the reason why I can speak English pretty well right now. I, I've actually changed school to an international school at the end of grade 10, mm -hmm. uh, which means that I spoke 75% of my time in English. So. How many years have you been at the international school? For, for two years now. For two years. Yeah. Well, that's still pretty amazing. That's just yeah. two years in. Wow. Thank you very much. Do you have any siblings? I do have siblings. So I have two sisters and one brother. My brother is 21 years old mm -hmm. and he lives and studies in France, mm -hmm. uh, whereas, uh, whereas my older sister, uh, she's 23 years old uh, and she lives in Sydney. Uh, and then my smaller sister, she's 15 years old and is still a student at the French school. So your older siblings, um, did they move with you when you first came to Singapore? Uh, they did move with me, yeah. My whole family moved. And do you know how they like it? How was the transition for them? I think that they still prefer Singapore because uh, because they because when they moved here they were pretty young so they were seven years old maybe which means that all they did in France was go to school and go back home mm -hmm. they didn't really spend time outside of and so which means that I think that they still prefer Singapore because as they because because as because as they grow up. Uh, they just started to feel more of an environment uh, mm -hmm. in Singapore, which which is stronger, uh, which is stronger than France. So Singapore is feeling more like home to them than, yeah. than France is. Um, now, what what brought your parents to Singapore? What what's the big, what was the motivation behind the big move? Uh, my dad's work. Uh, he got a job here in Singapore, mm -hmm. which is the reason why we all moved to Singapore. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And when he moved dad. you guys out here, he knew that you guys were gonna stay here no. for. It was a surprise for every three years, basically, oh. if we were going to stay. So we were supposed to stay here for just a few years. Mm -hmm. uh, but it turns out that the contract got extended, which means that we stayed in Singapore for 17 years. But like every two to three years, we wouldn't know if we would go back to France or not. So we stay here for 17 years, but it's unexpected. So whenever it's extended, does your family cheer or you're kind of... Wishing that you could go We're back happy to France. Are oh, you happy to stay? To stay. You're happy to stay. Yeah. Now, uh, what has your parents or your school done, or, or yourself have done, to keep the French culture alive in you? Uh, what my parents have done is uh, to make sure that I speak French at home, of course. Uh, also, the French culture, as you said, food is a big part of the of the culture. Uh, so we eat food. 30%, so we eat French food 30% of the time. Does mommy cook or do you have a helper? We have a helper, but sometimes my mom cooks too. So does, does a helper know how to cook French food? We yep. teach her. You teach her, yeah. yeah. How, uh, how is the, is it pretty authentic? So it she, is. she picked it, it up well. She's a, she's a pretty good cook. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then yeah, I stayed at the French school for, for, I don't know, like 13 years. Mm -hmm. 
uh, which means that, yeah, I mean, like, I spoke French the whole time. I was exposed to the French people the whole time, which made me have that French culture. Mm -hmm. What, what about in a French school? Um, do they sell French food too, or...? They, they do sell French food sometimes, yeah. We do have uh, maybe two times a week for French food. Um, so yeah. Do they have dormitories? Do they make you guys stay there, or it's not I, like a boarding school? I don't think that the French school is a boarding school. No, I think that one of the only boarding schools in Singapore is UWC, where you can actually board at school. Uh, my school does that too, but you need to find a place to sleep. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so yeah, I but see. but the French school didn't do that for sure. I see. Okay. All right. What's the population of the school when you were? Is it a large school? I mean, what's the percentage um, of, um, say, what's the ratio of local kids to international kids? Uh, local kids from uh, from uh, close to Singapore and China. I would say it takes approximately fifty percent of this. School. Fifty percent. Fifty. Five zero. Five zero of this school. Including mainland China. Mainly China. So. In, at the French school? No, at, at the Canadian school. Oh, at the new school? At the new school. Okay, yeah. at the new school. This but at the French school, what was the oh, what's the composition of the nationality? I'd say 95% of the students were French. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty hard to get into the school if you didn't know how to speak fluent French mm. and if you weren't French. I see. So, uh, so was, that, was that a prerequisite? You gotta have, you gotta speak French to get in there. I mean, as all of the classes are in French, you, you need to speak fluent French. I see. Or you will struggle. I see. Way. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. And with the new school, um, it's more mixed. You mentioned it's, it's about fifty percent yeah. Chinese. Fifty percent Chinese, and from the people uh, from Vietnam, from the Philippines, and all. This is fifty percent of the school, I would say, uh, and then from Europe, I say it's thirty percent of the school, uh, and there's twenty percent from the USA or from other uh, mm -hmm. places. And other do you enjoy studying in a school where it's mostly people of your own language and culture, or do you enjoy studying in a school where you know there's such a strong mix of nationalities and cultures? I prefer the diversity of culture, um, especially here in Singapore. There's the there's a big mix of cultures. Um, yeah, there's a big mix of cultures between Chinese culture, between the the French culture isn't that big here, but there's a lot of different uh, there's a lot of different places in Singapore which represent a, which represent a country. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a big there's a big mix of cultures in Singapore. And this is what I mainly like about Singapore too, is this mix of culture, which means that I prefer to be in a school where there's a lot of different people, not not all the same people. Mm -hmm. Now, um, do you see um, international kids, um, foreign kids that tend to stay in their cliques? You know, where they don't mix with the local kids, they're just kind of always in their same clique. I've, I've seen that at the French school. Um, I mean, it's understandable because speaking English for them is not their main language and they're always exposed to, uh, to the French language. Um, so it's kind of hard for them to to be friends with some different schools as they all speak English, and then and then yeah, and this mainly happens at the French school as this is what I think. But in my school, we love to meet new people. Hmm. Now, do you have friends outside of your school? I do have friends outside of my school. Uh, How do you meet them? Do you join clubs or sports, through, sports yeah, teams? Or? Through sports teams, yeah. Through I mean. I've, I've met some of them through uh, my old soccer team, which I used to be part of for five years. Uh, as we played against different clubs, we played against students from different schools too. Um, most of the time, I would make new friends in games, but of course, like, it's a competitive sport, so we're not always friends at the end of the game. So yeah. these teams, are they, do they comprise mostly of international kids or is it a mix of locals and international? It depends what, it depends what team you are on. Uh, I know that there's a French team, which is just only French. Uh, but then the team that I was in was... So, so the team that I was in was a local team. And we played against different clubs from different nationalities or mixed nationalities. Mm -hmm. I see. 
Now, how often do you go back to your friends? I go back to friends uh, two times a year for sure. But we try to make it three if we could. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, I go back to France for the spring break, uh, which is uh, two months long. Mm -hmm. Is it just you or your whole family um, goes along with? My whole family goes. My whole family just joins the So France. daddy and mommy take time off for my, my mom takes time off of her job because uh, she's her own boss. Basically. Oh, okay. I was going to say that's nice <laughs> yeah. of her boss to yeah. let her go for she's that long. She's her own boss. All so. right. So she can take two months off if she if she really wants to. Mm -hmm. Whereas my dad, as he is more and more busy, he can only come back to France for two for for two weeks during the spring break. Mm -hmm. uh, but he can also go back to France with us in the winter break, which is also two weeks long. And he usually takes two weeks off to 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 just go back to France and ski because it's cold there. Mm -hmm. So you guys have families back in France. Uh, most of my family is uh, my grandparents. They so they are in France. So my grandparents from my dad's side, they are in France. But my grandparents from my mom's side. They decided to live in Spain oh, for wow. their retirement. Mm -hmm. How long have they been in Spain? I'd say five to seven years now. So when you go back to France, do you also hop over to Spain to visit them? Uh, no, we all joined back in France. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. But have you visited them in Spain before? I did visit, I did visit them in Spain before, yeah. yeah. And when you go to, back to France, what do you do there? Uh, spend as much time with the family as I as I can because it's a holiday uh, and then I also try I mean like if I go back for the winter mm -hmm. and it's snowing and there's no snow here I'm going to go skiing, skiing and then I'm going to do a lot of yeah so so sorry so I'm going to go skiing and then I'm going to do a lot of snow activities still, mm -hmm. which is which is really good. But in the wind, I mean, in the spring break, sorry, it's kind of the same as in Singapore because it's hot and there's a beach there. There's a beach here too, which is really nice. So we kind of do the same thing. It's just more. Uh, it just feels like home there mm -hmm. when we go back. I see. Okay. Well. Um now, um, the, the current school that you go to, do they teach French there? Are you able to keep up with they, the French learning? They do teach French uh, and thankfully that they do or else I would have not, like, if they didn't speak French, I could not speak French right now. So you take French as your second language at this second new school? Second language, yeah. Do you take other languages? No, just English and French. Just English and French. Um, what other languages do they offer? They have Mandarin and Spanish. And how often are these second languages taught? <laughs> Um, same same as the French school, I would say five times a week. One hour a day. One hour a day. One hour a day. Okay. Yeah. Well, how are you liking the Singapore food? It's really good. Us as French people, we like good food. Mm -hmm. uh, and the food here is really good. It's simple, but it's the best thing you could ever eat. Well, as a means, local food. That means a lot coming from a French, because we know you have very high standards uh, food-wise. Um, what mm -hmm. is some of your favorite local food? Okay. It sounds simple, but it's chicken rice. The Hainanese chicken rice. Hainanese chicken rice. It's so good. <laughs> like, I recommend it for sure. Do you have a favorite food, uh, chicken, chicken place that you go to? Uh, I know that there's some at Newton which are really good. Mm -hmm. Newton is pretty close by from here, and it's, they're really, really good there. And the best thing is you don't have to go to a really expensive restaurant to get yeah. a good plate of chicken it, rice, right? It's cheap and it's good. Yes. Do you eat it with a chili? I sometimes do, but I try not to. I'm not a big fan of chili. So you don't like yeah. spicy food? I do like it sometimes, just not when it's too spicy. So when you say the food here is good, that means you, you like the Malay food, the Indian food, the Chinese food, yeah. and the, the... yeah. Yeah. And the Chinese food here is really good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just all the food here is good. Now who cooks at home? Um, Sometimes my mom cooks, but most of the time it's my help, it's my helper. Okay. Uh, we teach her how to cook, of course. Uh, so do you teach her to do just French food, or she can no, do local food she, as well? She can do all the food that you wow. need to. Yeah, she's a really good cook. Oh, that's wonderful. Course, yeah. That's really helpful too. It is helpful. Yeah.